I have, but yeah. I don't remember what it means exactly right. and I, the last time we saw one. Yes, and I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, this is what it is, really just sort of very quick here. This is a full eclipse. Uh, this is an annular eclipse, so we call it kind of the ring of fire. Uh, that is where the moon moves in between the earth and the sun. Uh, but because the moon is actually farther away on an outer ring, uh, what we call kind of an apogee, farther away, uh, because of its proximity, it doesn't completely cover the sun. So you actually get kind of a ring in fire. So you don't ever want to look right at it, of course. But we're going to have one of the best seats in the house right here in Southern Colorado. 80% coverage in Southern Colorado. The eclipse path will be right through the Four Corners region. Uh, it happens tomorrow at 1036 a.m. Get up, get your coffee. You're going to want to see it, but make sure you see it with some eyewear on, some protective eyewear. Uh, notice that the future winds here uh, show that we're going to keep gusty winds in the forecast across the eastern plains through the evening hours with some 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. Our winds will start to calm down after about five o'clock though, excuse me. Uh, freeze warning is in effect for portions of the I-25 in the Eastern Plains overnight tonight. It's our first hard freeze of the season, which is why we have that weather alert in place for you, just to make sure we're giving you those uh, expectations of what to expect, managing those expectations appropriately. Temperatures in the 20s across the El Paso County and Taylor County regions for tonight. And our friends across the Eastern Plains, our farmers, our neighbors are gonna be also into the upper 20s to low 30s tonight. Now the growing season mostly has ended uh, for you know, harvest and things of that degree, but it's still going to be pretty cold for those regions tonight. 13 degrees in the San Luis Valley. You can actually see where our system that moved through yesterday uh, has now matured uh, into a nice mid-latitude system, and it's moving across portions of the upper Midwest, and so we're still getting that north wind on the backside of that system, keeping us blustery today, and that is all due to those winds. We're in the 40s and 50s this afternoon. It gets a little bit more seasonal by Saturday into the 60s, and then we're warming even more by Sunday as we get near 70 degrees. This weekend is going to be beautiful to maybe be out at a pumpkin patch or you know, celebrating that way. Uh, we still have some gusty winds here across the eastern plains for Saturday morning, uh, but we will continue to see calmer conditions shape up region wide by tomorrow. Uh, temperatures will be in the 50s, a little bit closer to the 60 degree mark for tomorrow. We'll be in the 60s for Pueblo, 59 in the Wet Mountain Valley, 59 in Beulah Valley, and 60s across the eastern plains uh, by Sunday. We are near 70 degrees, so it is going to be a lot warmer uh, for Sunday. Tonight's our coldest night of the season so far. As you'll notice, your seven-day forecast here in Colorado Springs uh, shows where we will continue to show a bit of a warming trend as we travel through the weekend. And overnight lows will recover a little bit as well. So tonight, we're in the 20s in Colorado Springs. Tomorrow night, we are hovering around the freezing mark. And then we gradually start to uh, see those temperatures a rise back closer to the seasonal range, which is typically around 68 degrees for this time of year. Tuesday being our warmest day of the week next week. Uh, Pueblo around 60 degrees on Saturday, low 70s on Sunday near 80 degrees by Tuesday of next week. That's going to be our warmest afternoon, but you'll notice for so many of the other days, it's just going to be very nice and comfortable. Monument in the 50s and 60s this weekend, recovering those overnight lows back into the upper 30s by Sunday night. Willen Park still going to be very cold tonight, down to the mid to low 20s, and uh, we'll be hovering uh, below freezing Saturday night and uh, back near the freezing mark by Sunday night. So still some of our first few cold nights of the season. That's why we have that weather alert. Our winds will continue to calm down. But it's going to be a chilly evening ahead if you're venturing out and about. Yeah, no kidding. And a cold start tomorrow, Mary. Thank you. And while we're getting a little taste.